We are picking up from where we last left off, with me still running about both of our colonies, just trying to get these idiots everything that they are requesting. We are on the tier 3 building push now, so a lot of the items that they are asking for are starting to get a bit annoying for me to have to get them. At least Heaven now has a carpenter, which should take care of all of the kind of wooden items that our builders are going to require. Hell, on the other hand, doesn't yet have a sawmill in, but hopefully they will have the research for that soon and we will be able to get one up for them. But they are starting to ask for a lot of difficult items over there, which one of them is a brewing stand, which I'm hoping to maybe sort out here just now, just as I run over to my little village of other idiots, just to loot their church. I can't quite remember why they want a brewing stand, but I'm aware that one of their builds is requiring one. Hopefully we do have one here inside this church, which uh, maybe not. Sadly, not in the church there, but I maybe have put one here inside our chest. Okay, perfect. We at least are going to have a brewing stand then, just to take over to hell. Ava is continuing with our minor tier 3, which there is a few items here that I might need to sort out for her. And Elia is continuing our warehouse, which a lot of the items here I think our sawmill will make for her. Although, what are you complaining about? You need 64 acacia trapdoors to continue working. Those are inside our request system, but they are going to be made by our carpenter if he got in some acacia planks, which I need to get him the planks. If I remember right, I don't think we can teach him any more recipes here, even this very simple one of turning acacia logs into planks. No, no more space for any more recipes. Well that's a shame, but I've got some acacia there, and in fact, let me turn the rest into some blocks here as well for you, and just take them all away. So that should come off of our request system once they are made. And I can actually see that he's starting to make them right now. Okay, brilliant. And there doesn't seem to be anything here in the request system that I need to get them, so good. Let's head straight over to Hell and give them this brewing stand. Here in Hell we have Santa making our town hall and they actually have quite a lot of the items that they require here, but still a few more to go, including the brewing stand. And we don't yet have another builder, that is because Natasha, our previous builder, was unfortunately slaughtered just by the warehouse. Okay, so hopefully we will get in another builder to replace her, and then we'll get the warehouse up and going as well. How is our research for the graveyard going actually? We are so very very close to getting the Remembrance research just to unlock our graveyard, so very very close. The only problem is, we don't have any Jedis in here actually doing the research for us, as I believe the last one was untimely slaughtered as well. Okay then, well I suppose in the meantime I can just assist with our town hall build, just until we do get up a few more people being able to work for us. And watching this Enderman chase our cook there is not a good start. Alright then Santa, I will hand deliver you the brewing stand because that's what you're requesting at the moment. So go take that out, build a town hall and let me know what else that you're going to require for this. I want this up ASAP so that we can continue on with some more builds today. Speaking of builds actually, it's a uh, it's time to make a mess. So let's start off by putting in some more of these fountain decorations just so that the water will flow down and create some nice obsidian land for us just to build on top of. So we'll go with this first one just probably right there and I'm sure it's all fine to build. So we'll come back and see what type of mess they make with that. Hopefully this will give us a bit more land just to build on here which will be rather nice. The town hall is coming along pretty nicely as well. We now have a second floor of it, and this is where most of the new decorations are going, including the really annoying brewing stand. And we're 60% done with it, and they are nearly supplied with everything there. There are just a few more cosmetic things here that I will need to get them but nothing too taxing. In fact, with the amount of gold that we have, I hopefully will have enough just to start making 
all of these golden items that they're asking for, or maybe not. Well, it's just good old mining for me then, but at least we've got plenty of gold just around the place. And I've seen as well that our colony's boundary now comes all the way out to here, so this is a lot more land that we can also build on, which we probably will need to, because again, finding the space is incredibly tight down here. And would you look what I have just stumbled across, really not all that far away, we have got ourselves a fortress. Uh, yes, a terrible fortress. This is alarmingly really quite close to our colony as well. I'm really surprised that we haven't been attacked more often. But I'm out here for gold, I really shouldn't be exploring too much, otherwise we're not going to get too much done here today. But yes, it is a rather nice build to find around here, so I think at another point we will come back out here and explore this a bit more thoroughly. But for the moment, we have a lot of items to make them here, so we'll just need to spend some time making them those instead. Well, as we're back here in heaven just to find some ferns, how are you guys getting on then? The answer being, pretty much not at all. You're still waiting on our sawmill operator making you all of these things because we are waiting on a lot of wheat. Uh, if you want a job done right, then do it yourself. Although definitely at some point we will need to get these farms upgraded to tier 3 just so that they can start making us some wheat. Where is your field's upgrade post? Have you done the same as the other farmer and removed it to put down some carrots? Oh, I have no idea. Right, what is it that you're going to require to upgrade your hut to tier 3 here? And by the looks of it, nothing too difficult. So let's go ahead with that once we assign a builder, Ava. Because if we need a lot of thatched roofing around the place, then we need a lot of wheat. So I definitely need our farmers being able to make wheat for us. Or being able to grow wheat, I should probably say. But that's the two huts upgraded to tier 3 apiece. And I'm really not sure what they've done to the fields around here, but I'm actually going to need to place another one just down on top of the original, just so that we've got this upgrade post again, so that we can upgrade it. It has also reminded me that Joanna here, our very first farmer, really doesn't need to have this hut here anymore. I could probably have a better job for you down the road. Ah, uh, yes, we might deconstruct your farm hut here, just to make some space in the middle. You know what, actually, just in the meantime, you're going to stop making potatoes here, and I want you making wheat here instead. That will at least give your hut some form of function for the moment. Also, what are you complaining about? You're wanting an axe. Fine. Although it's going to need to be an iron one, so hopefully you can use that. Which I'm going to assume you can't. That is because you are useless. Also, I feel that our builders have been building whatever the hell they have been for the past few centuries. So I am going to assist them out a little bit here. And just stop them asking for things so we can actually get some more builds done here today. Right then, Ava. This is everything that I am going to get for you. You can just wait on the rest of these thatched items being made for you. I think that is you pretty much supplied. And Elia is having some items come to her right now. Some more of the thatch stuff. Okay, I think Heaven is now all set up here for their builds. So, back to Hell, where I believe that Santa was nearly done with the Town Hall. Uh, Johan. And Sybil is another new builder. Uh, okay, not a clue what happened to the older ones. Probably something similar to that. But here's some items for you, and just a few more to go actually. That's really not too bad. And what about our other builder? What are you going to require? You're just needing a lot of these clay acacia shingles and slabs there. Ah, uh, everything else looking alright actually. Sybil, what is it? Dark oak stairs. Okay, let me go check if we have any dark oak wood here. Which we don't by the looks of it, but that's alright. I need to go back to heaven anyway, just to get some more flowers. Ah, uh, and just as I'm making items for them, of course we get a raid. 
Good, well that's going to stop any building progress that we just had there. And once again, I just have no idea where they are spawning from. There is only one raider left, I'm assuming mobs and or lava are going to be taking care of them. But yep, I have no idea where they are and I'm just going to leave them to it to be fair. Just back to making these refitting items then. Oh, well look who just showed up just to interrupt me as I was making the shingles. Isn't that nice? And also, you are incredibly pathetic, mister. Watch what I can do. Very, very, very difficult raid. Actually, he just dropped me a diamond sword, so that is pretty nice. I didn't realise they could drop loot of that tier. Awesome. Well, I can't remember exactly who was wanting these items, but take them all away anyway, and I think that's pretty much everything that they were requesting there. That's a shame that a courier just died, seeing as they're the ones who are supposed to be taking away this stuff. And I have just seen the culprit who did it. You nasty, 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 nasty bugger. The piglins are bad down here, but they have absolutely nothing on the Enderman. Or lava. The town hall is definitely taking pretty nice shape now. I think inside it we have started to get the roof in as well. So yes, this building is very much a nice little haven if our citizens can come inside it just to get away from the mobs. And I think it looks really decent in here as well actually. Johan, who is building it, is just waiting on a few more armour stands coming in. If we had any couriers, they could bring that for them. Sybil, on the other hand, isn't really getting on too well here, although I have put a lot of these items again into the stash just to go into the warehouse, but yep, there's still quite a lot of items here that they are waiting on just to upgrade the warehouse, funny enough. But I really feel as if I need to get out of hell at the moment because the mobs are going absolute rampant down here and everyone just keeps on dying. So it's back to good old safe heaven. Right guys, hopefully we won't have too many deaths here. Hell has been very, very stressful today. Elia has everything that she requires for the warehouse now, so this build really won't take too long until it's upgraded. And just behind, I see that Ava is making up the miner at the moment. Kabir probably looking for an axe. And she is still waiting on some thatched items coming in, which means I need to come over and beat Harry up because he's not building for us. Yep, stuff about house is absolutely grand. Have you not got any of these thatched things in? You have plenty of wheat. You know what? Just give me them. I'll go make them very quickly. I just want these buildings done here and you're absolutely useless. Right, here you go then, Ava. You take in some of these thatched items and you're not looking for anything. That's even better. So I'm hoping you now have everything for this, which you do. So we'll finally get these two buildings up to tier 3 apiece which will just help us out overall here. The mine in particular, as this is going to allow us to unlock our blacksmith research. The warehouse, well, always having more storage is always going to help us out here. And to be fair, the inside of these buildings are also starting to look pretty nice as well. I really, really appreciate having the doors just to go between the two of them here earlier. You are doing a really good job. And that is the warehouse just completed there. Perfect, so we will see what Elia picks up next, but I'm really pleased that this building is now at tier 3. I was just kind of hoping though that we may have put in some more storage just so that we could have a lot more eggs inside of here. That's the only disappointing thing about that upgrade, but we will eventually get up our own warehouse purely just for eggs. But Elia has now moved on to do her citizen's house and she's pretty much got everything that she requires for it already actually. And Ava will be done with her miner pretty soon as well. She is doing not too bad here. And there she's just finished the miner right there. Good stuff Ava. So that's a tier 3 miner which means we can now go and unlock some new researches. Which I'm hoping to start off by unlocking our blacksmith which comes underneath our technology tab and it is the hitting iron one here 
So let's go ahead with that research and I will get myself some chiseled stone bricks just so we can get the stone cake one as well just to unlock the stone mason's hut. And that'll be good because then we will have the sawmill up for our wooden items, the blacksmith up for our metal items and the stone mason up for all of our stone requirements. Which then afterwards all we really need then is a dyer for our coloured stuff. I will need to put up that shepherd's hut just so that we do have some wool. And then we can go in for some more specific buildings such as a glass blower just for our glass needs as well as a mechanic for our kind of redstone items. So things are going pretty nicely here in heaven for the moment. Ava has moved on to do our farm at tier 3 so she will request some items here that I'll need to get her. And I'm sure that Elia is doing absolutely fine with her citizen's hut. Alright then. Let's once again attempt these builds over in hell. Well we have another new builder in yet again to make our town hall but they are now pretty much supplied with everything here so our town hall should flag off as done really really shortly I hope so long as it doesn't die. Sybil also has everything she requires to make her warehouse so once again hopefully she will be able to do that just before she perishes. But I really do want these buildings up and ready ASAP just because I have expansion plans on the cards for both of our colonies so I really need these buildings up so that they can go move on with those. Hell is going to get its own form of agricultural district which we will make over here at some point just once we get some actual land in for us. And I want to continue on with the expansion of Heaven's Civic District as well so we do have a lot of expansion prospects on the cards but as you keep seeing the amount of deaths that we have here in Hell makes it super super difficult just to get anything done here. I will need to get a blacksmith and a fletcher hut at some point just so that our guards stop asking me to make them any form of weapon or bow here. They are being a bit useless at the moment actually just because they can't help us defend us colony. Unfortunately the Fletcher is another building that we will need to research at the university but we can find out what that's going to entail just after we finally get that graveyard upgrade that they have been doing now for the past two episodes. But as for our town hall, it's looking not too bad in here now. I think further expansions to it will just go more vertical this is pretty much the foundations inside it done. In fact, that's it just done there. So well done Cole, our new builder. That is a tier 3 town hall down here in hell. And he has picked up the job of a courier to make. Uh, that was nice of you Enderman. And it doesn't look too difficult to do here. Just again some more items that we will need to bring down from heaven. But yep. That doesn't look too bad to do, so we'll let him get on with it. Just along the bridgeway here, I can see our warehouse is nearly complete as well, so this will be tier 3 that it's getting up to. And we definitely have a lot more storage inside it as well. And it's finally getting a roof, which is rather nice. And that's it finished there. So perfect. That is our tier 3 warehouse now built here in hell as well. And we definitely have storage for absolute days here. At some point we will get up a chicken herder hut. And we will max out that warehouse with eggs as well. And she has moved on to do her lumberjack build next, which is fine. She will let me know what she's going to require for that. And then we can get her sorted with it. Which will be good actually, because that will then let us get the research just to unlock the sawmill. Once we get the graveyard one. Good progress. Well, slow progress today, but progress nonetheless. These new tier 3 buildings really are quite difficult to make, especially at our colony's level at the moment, but we are slowly starting to get in some different builds just to help with that process. So we will get the rest of our buildings eventually upgraded to tier 3 as well at some point. But I still got a little bit of work ahead of me, just giving these idiots everything that they are requesting at the moment. So. I think that's definitely not a bad place to end things here. I do want to sort out the two different districts in both colonies. I want Hell to have his agricultural one and I want Heaven to finish off its civic one. So there's still plenty of things left for us to do here. But on that note, thank you very much for watching and as always if you have enjoyed the episode then why not give the video a like and subscribe just to see some more of this nonsense. But thanks again for watching guys and I will see you all 
in the next one. Bye for now, everyone. Bye-bye.